Welcome everybody to another YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to calibrate your TPS sensor. If you guys don't know what a TPS sensor, it's mounted right here on the throttle body and what I'm running here, it's a K2 throttle body. And uh, as some of you guys may know, it has nothing to do with the product and what brand you use. The vibration of the engine with those motors in you know, those cars, sometimes those TPS sensors, they, they tend to go bad. Um, I had one or twice go bad. Like I said, I had OEM once go bad and I got other brands go bad. You know what I mean? Eventually, like one, some of them last like two years. You know what I mean? But some of you guys, you got to realize I'm running hard mounts and I'm also running a twin disc. So it's a lot of like, a lot of shocking. You know what I mean? So the shocking on the TPS, it's very fragile inside right there and it messes it up over time. But I got a good use out of the old one. They're not very expensive. Shout out to K-Tune. They just provide me with a uh, new TPS sensor. And I'm gonna show you guys how to calibrate it. Now make sure you have a K-Pro, the new software, installing your K-Pro on, e on your computer. And then you're gonna come to the car here and I'll show you guys how you're going to do it. Now, of course, you gotta have a USB. I know it's kind of dark here in the car a little bit. Probably put in my laptop so you can see a little better. So, you know, of course, I got it plugged in because my computer was dead. So, what do you do? I'm gonna just go ahead and close off everything right here so that way I can walk you through the whole step because a lot of people are very confused how save changes. Yes. All right, you save changes. You're gonna go ahead and close this off here after you save your changes. See that? And then you come here, okay? Sorry guys, I wasn't ready for this. Okay, so, uh, everything's turned off, you know what I mean? First thing is first, you wanna go ahead and pull up the the map that's on your ECU, which I have it saved on my computer, you know what I mean? Also, you can download it, whichever works, you know what I mean? So what you can do, you can open your K-Pro, you know what I mean? Which I have it saved right here, shout out to Gringo, Vasile 500. You know what I mean? The software is more than six months old. Please check the for updates. Now, of course, they're always updating the software and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Okay, so what do you want to do is, first, you want to put the ignition on, which I have a chingalera right there. You see that? I got the, the kick panel right there. So when you put your ignition on, okay? Next thing, what you want to do, you want to go to the yellow bulb right here. So make sure that actually, when actually it's hooked up, to USB, which is hooked up right there on the panel. Usually it will show right here yellow, which is, it shows you that it's on, right? So you go right there and you just press that. So make sure it's hooked up. All right. Next thing you wanna do, you wanna go to the properties, you know, which is, it pulls the stable, see? You go to the parameters right here. You see that parameters right there? You see that? And then you select throttle, you see that? Throttle right there. And then in, in this box right here, this is what you want to do right here. These two boxes right here, you have a read and then a read. You have a maximum reading and a maximum reading. A minimum and a maximum. Sorry, I'm just trying to kind of read through my GoPro instead of reading at the screen. So you got a minimum reading and a maximum reading. So what you want to do is, okay, so before you go into that, what you want to do is you go right here to online. You see that right there? You go to online in case you don't have the the map pulled up, you go to online, click on that, and then you go to tools and you download. What you do, you download the map from the ECU to the computer. See, so you go to download, bam. Save changes to calibration, yes. So now you just download it. Now it just download from the computer to the ECU to my computer. Even though I had it pulled up, it downloads it from the ECU to the computer. So now this is what's on the ECU, right? And that's when you're gonna go ahead. So now you have the yellow, it's all hooked up, good and gravy. So you're gonna, gonna do right here, you're just gonna go ahead and just press read. When you press read, it's just gonna read where your TPS is at right there. So you're gonna go ahead and press on it and it says negative five, right? You just click on that, you see that? Click on that, it says negative five, right? Let's see what you do at the bottom right here. What you wanna do, you wanna put the pedal down, which you also have it right here, TPS, you see that? You put the pedal down and it's gonna read how high it's gonna go, right? So right now if I click, it says 60, see? If I click on it, it says 60, but as I press the pedal down, look, look at this, as I press the pedal down, you can see the TPS. 
98%. And you click on it. Even though it says 98%, on the ECU it says 93. I don't know why. See that? 93.8, 90, 93.7. But right here it says 98, 99. See that? On the K-Pro. And you press read. See that? Press read. While you hold it down. Now, it's back to zero. All you got to do now, you go right here and you upload to the arrow. And it uploads to the ECU. Bam. Now, it's very important that you do this like the way I showed you so you don't mess up your tune because if you mess up your tune, man, you got to get in touch with your, your tuner and all that stuff. You know what I mean? And then you just turn the car on. Yeah, this shows the RPM right here. Don't mind my little change I have in there. It makes a little noise, but... Usually if the TPS... Usually if the TPS is not calibrated, as soon as you touch the throttle, it's gonna be have a, like a bugging, you know? It's gonna be like choppy. So if you barely touch it and it's moving and it's... You know, you're touching the throttle and it's barely moving, you know? You see that? So gradually it's moving up. You know the TPS is good. See that? That, my friend, is how you calibrate your TPS. I know I don't have a video on that, but hey, guys, I figured I'd show you guys how to calibrate it. So there it goes. Mucho love. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll catch you guys next time.